All right, all right, all right. Stan here from Changing Seasons, landscaping water features. How's everybody doing out in YouTube land? Today, we are going to install the grass flap. Oh, better get a better picture of that. On the Ferris Z2. 52 inch so been using it for about uh says uh 6.7 hours which those are the real hours those are the real hours because it didn't have any hours on it when i bought it and so far i've cut grass the day after it rained and it was an irrigated yard and it cut beautifully I was so happy and when I cut my yard I normally have to double cut to spread out the grass that's laying on top with my sit down X mark my ultra cut or if I use my my Vantage or if I use the Hustler Super S I have to go over it a second time to spread the grass out well I didn't have to do that with the Ferris SRS with what is it called again the ICD cutting system laid it out beautiful I just was gunning it all the way through beautiful 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 the only spot that I had issue with because I didn't cut last week I was letting my grass grow long because it's getting dry was a spot where the yellow nut sedge was real thick and it's kind of tall so it was actually probably a good six inches eight inches taller than the rest of the grass i was cutting and it's also in an area where the ground is low so it holds moisture there more so obviously the grass gets thicker there so but it all you could see it on top of the grass but then it disappeared which i was like yay because it always stays there and it looks like a hay field so I am loving this Ferris so far I don't have a stripe kit on it I just bought one still debating on if I'm going to install it or not let me know down in the comments if you think I should install the stripe kit or not um, some people like stripes in their yard. Some people just want it to look like a carpet. So let's get this grass flap right here on this ferris. Look at that discharge opening. Love it. So first off, we're going to get this this shoot off and uh, then we'll go from there it's a little different from my uh, Hustler Super S because this here is usually on the edge usually on the edge here so I have to look to see how I'm going to mount it whether I'm just going to mount it straight to this deck itself or put it on spacers don't know yet but uh, let's get this off. All right, first step is done. Let's check out this grass flat. Alright, as you can see, comes nicely packaged. 
got the plate down here everything's where it needs to be so you can find it but I will say they have upgraded and done a much better job with these instructions got very large pictures has it for the sit down or the, the walk behind and they got it for the stand up to give you an idea on how to install this to your unit so a big shout out goes to uh, grassflap.com over there grassflap very nice upgrade to instructions let's see how much easier this is going to be installing this one compared to when I installed it on my Hustler Super S. Okay, I'll show you what we got here. Um, I had to take this wire underneath, but really, I think I have to cut this part out so it can go lower. Because if you watch, this is I think around three inches. If you watch when I raise it up to transport mode. see how it how it binds so really I need to cut this out and, and take care of that but I'm not cutting it out now so that's all the way up this is on three inches but you see it's not bound up at all you can see I 
have it routed through here and you can see but it just I didn't have to drill no holes in the back plate I just brought it right right through here and I think I'm gonna mount the, the pedal right here dead in the middle that way if it's a dominant left foot person or right foot person they should be able to kick it down instead of angling it this way and that way the the angle on this cable is not hard on it but I will have to cut that out all right let's get busy even better than what I did on my Super S having this pedal right there in the middle is sweet and you see I got pretty good uh, no gap but you don't want a gap but it's there and then you can tighten this this up here if you want more spring tension and I'll tighten that up a little bit and tighten these up just a hair and then I take a socket and make sure they're they're snug and I have to tighten that up and then I have to put a zip tie a zip tie around say the bottom of this here so it holds this in place that way it doesn't get up into the um, pulley and like wear it out but the only thing I have left to do is is grind that out and lower this so I don't end up pinching that but I don't really put it in transport mode and five so we'll see what happens I don't know if I want to use a uh, Zaw saw and cut it out I haven't figured out how I'm going to cut it yet all right that's going to do it that's the, the final product pedal on there So, if you like this video on how to install this grass flap on a Ferris Z2, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, put it down in, in the comments section below and I'll try my best to answer it. And if you would subscribe, I greatly appreciate it. We got some uh, content coming fairly new uh, YouTube channel um, I want to give a, a shout out to Dave over there to grass flat for um, just want to thank him for making a product like this most of these uh, grass flaps will install and you can still use a a side bagger which is why I bought it in the first place um, I want to thank him for updating the the instructions for installing it they were a lot better than the first so thank you on that um, don't get excited because my channel is not big enough yet to offer you 
any type of discount or anything like that but I do believe if you go enter Fall River tin or Nickens tin um, you may get a, a discount but I would have to tell you to go over to their channel and see where they're uh, installing the grass flap and that way you'll be for sure and it could save you money my channel's not going to save you money yet I'm nowhere near got the followers for companies to hook me up to hook you up so like I said this is it um till next time this has been Stan from Changing Seasons Landscape and Water Features till next time catch you later